Oh. Yeah. The next one is Toten Kinder, aka SP545. Item SP five four five object class Euclid. Special containment procedures SP five four five is considered to be three individual parts, and thus each part part may be stored differently. SCP five four five A is to be kept in a two room residential containment unit at site seventeen, furnished to her liking. To date, she has not requested a TV, radio, nor any contact with the outside world beyond a walk through a park or woods, or at least once per week, available to, to her upon request. During said excursions, she is to be accompanied by a team of four armed security personnel and at least one researcher familiar to her. Dash A is allowed to leave her containment and spend time at level 0 in common areas, provided that she notified two level 2 security personnel ahead of time and is supervised during the duration of her leaving her room. Dash A poses no immediate threat to any personnel, provided that they are reminded not to make assumptions about her strength, speed, or intelligence based on her appearance. All samples and bottles of Dash B are to be packaged and placed in the appropriate storage unit under lock. Only authorized level 4 security personnel or higher may be allowed to handle, transport, or study Dash B. Drinking Dash B is strictly forbidden and punishable by immediate termination, unless under testing protocol. All requests to study and test Dash B must be submitted at least a week in advance and approved by a head of site research, if not an O5, O5 level operative. Oh. Yeah. Dash A's unit is also to contain a small garden under sun lamps available to her to, wor to work in. No poisonous plants are allowed after incident 545-6B. Dash C is to be locked in a quad locked secure storage vault in Site-17's precious items wing. SB-545 may be determined as three separate parts. Dash A appears to be an elderly woman presumed presumably of Eastern European descent, 1.5 meters in height and 73.9 kilograms in weight giving her a short, plump build. Her skin, although deeply tanned and heavily lined, is devoid of blemishes or liver spots otherwise common with age. Her hair is thick, completely white, and past her waist when let down. Although Dash 5 prefers to keep it up in a tight bun, her eyes, despite her age, are a bright, clear blue and devoid of cataracts or fogginess. As a reward for good behavior and cooperation, she has been allowed to choose a wardrobe of simple and traditional dresses and eyeglasses. Despite appearing to be 80 plus years old, Dash 5 is in exceptional health with no weakening of the heart, bones, or respiratory system. And although of average human strength, her senses are noted to be above average as she scores a general 115 on a standard IQ test. Dash A claims to be over 800 years old. This claim is yet to be disproved. Dash A prefers to be called a number of names and dislikes the SCP designation number. She will respond to Granny, Beatrice, Miss Widow, and has taken a liking to Dr. Redactus' nickname for her, Totenkinder. She displays a generally pleasant personality and enjoys activities such as sewing, cooking, and gardening. Dash A often requests conversations and walks outside as well. Despite Dash A's penchant for acting like a kindly older woman, she displays no remorse for her use of Dash B and C. Dash A also displays a pathological fear of death and an addiction to Dash B and she complies with the Foundation personnel under threat of being deprived of her supply of Dash B. 
and is the only known long-term user of dash B dash A's information is considered invaluable. Dash B is a colorless, odorous salt liquid extracted from the body via dash C and bottled. It is often dubbed liquid life due to its properties. Under examination, dash B appears to be slightly more viscous than water, but varies in direct texture and taste. Dash B has no unique properties until ingested. Drinking dash B extends the life of the user slowing the process of aging and often either slowing or completely, completely ridding the body of disease. It may even be used to heal major wounds if drunk quickly enough. Repeated use of Dash B may prolong life indefinitely, but results in a strong dependency upon its properties and, may frequent, and many frequent users show borderline sociopathic tendencies in regards to creation of Dash B. To date, the, the SCP Foundation keeps a limited supply of Dash B and allows for production only for the study of Dash C. So before we continue, this looks like and it a slightly better than the Fountain of Youth. Because Fountain of Youth, you lose a lot of your emotions. But it's addictive. <laughs> well, we don't know what it's being moved from. We've heard about A and B, but not yeah. I was just saying it was it's similar to Fountain Youth. Anyways. Yeah. Fountain of Youth is not nice. Also removes all sense of taste and yeah, but that sounds like death to me. Yeah. Dash C is a thin weathered sheet of yellow parchment in surprisingly good condition, carbon dating places to at least at least 600 years old. Dash A claims to have copied Dash C from original document containing Dash C's instructions. For lack of a better term, Dash C contains a recipe in Middle English for extracting and distilling Dash B from the human body. Full contents of Dash Whoa. C. Yep. Full contents of Dash C are undisclosed in order to prevent unauthorized personnel from creating dash B. Key portions include ingredient list, including such materials as live leeches, skull cap seeds, chicken fetuses, snake skin, ginger root, mandrake root, lily of the valley water, spider eggs, and nearly two dozen more items and varying amounts. The most prominent ingredient appears to be a living human being. Preferably a child. Multiple ingredients on this list have been noted to match the ingredients used in instances of SP2077. Okay, let's, before we do anything, I want to quickly look at what 2077 is. Uh, Alright, SP2077 refers to be a council tablet pills advertised as anal G6, anti anxiety drugs, antidepressants, and anti convulsants. Okay. Apparently, it looks like they, they that's basically what they're used for. Oh, okay. Yep. All right, so you now we know. What? If I murdered people to keep young, I would be paranoid too, because that's what it sounds like. You murder someone to gain their lifespan, their yeah. lifespan. Yeah. Supplies list, including a boiling pot large enough for a child or other human, along with water and many ingredients, and a strainer made from, from fresh spider webs, among other things. Instructions list detailing rather elaborately the exact amounts of materials and timing needed to successfully create the still and bottle Dash B. Dash A is able to recite and act upon Dash C by heart. The exact mechanisms of the process that creates Dash B are still unidentified. Magic is not an acceptable answer. There has to be some sort of process here that allows for this to happen. It can't just happen because it works. Doctor Redacted. 
That's fair. Yeah. Addendum. SB-545 was located in a small midwestern town under the guise of an elderly woman with mild dementia. The wood service residential neighborhood were located to the and led to an area near a river that was prone to sinkholes and had a small history of children becoming lost or dying in the woods before. Her neighbors described her as a kind and caring and had no suspicions that she may be anything more than a lonely elderly widow with a penchant for giving neighborhood kids small treats in return for, for collecting their used glass bottles. She was located and captured by Data Expunged. From Dash A's own memory, she has been repeating the same process for quite a while. She buys a small house in a relatively dangerous area and keeps the, keeps the supplies for Dash C with her or manages to find and, re and produce them. She collects glass bottles via the neighborhood and over time gains their trust. She describes the process of capturing children for Dash C as being relatively easy. She simply goes for a walk and pretends to be lost, or talks kids into accompanying her home under the promise of food and candy. She admits to doing this at least once every five years or more. She claims to have been using this process for at least 800 years, but has admitted that even though her aging has slowed to to a crawl, it hasn't stopped completely no matter how much Dash B she produces and ingests. SCP yep. SCP-445 Dash B is not to be used or distributed, distributed even in cases of emergency. Failure to comply will result in termination. O5 That means no matter what, she'll eventually die of old age. Yep. Sadly, I can see how this would be made. Of more avenues for that. And I can uh, see the the O five making it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they would. Oh. They already have the fountain of youth. This is that's limited. Yeah. Also, and, uh, yeah. Sorry, you keep going. Uh, you, you first. I was just gonna say this is the thumbnail. Oh. That's inaccurate. Yeah. She doesn't look like a young woman. Let's tell you We didn't even rank the thumbnail. Is it a two? I, I guess so. Cause I don't think it's as bad as the previous ones. Yeah, it's inaccurate, but it doesn't look like something. Yeah. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Closer, child. Come closer. I won't hurt you. She beckoned the little girl. Wait, she looks like Baba Yaga. That's fine. <laughs> I can see her dress like Baba Yaga. Why not? <laughs> she eats children too. So, I'm fine with this. <laughs> with a long, bony finger. Greta looked back at her brother as if to ask him for help. She's not as strong as Baba Yaga. She's not as smart as Baba Yaga. Oh, she's yeah. She's not as terrifying as Baba Yaga. Oh, yeah, that is very true. And she doesn't have a chicken house that can run around. Yeah. And not a keter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Baba Yaga's uh I thought she was a keter. You know, if she's an SCP, I'm not even surprised. I, I believe 
There, she is an SCP. Hold on, give me one moment. All right. SCP Bob Baba Yaga. Yep, SCP three five two. And they are a keter. They're one of the first generation. They are labeled a keter. At one point, I heard about her. Did not read, read her log. All right, I can send you it, and you can look at it later. Hold on. Oh, okay. well, either way, have... there. Yep. Now you know. Yeah. Thank you. Mhm. Mm Hans looked nervously between his sister's eyes and the old lady. She stepped closer now and asked again, "Now, child." You look hungry. Come inside. Let me put some meat on those bones. Wait, it's what? the least Why I can do I since you helped. Have her in rags. I don't but know. Also in a colorful headband. <laughs> you have Who knows? Is he dressed appropriately, or? I saw that. Uh, she. Wait, they give her type of clothes that she likes to wear. Yes, even before the SCP got her, though, she always dressed nicely, like a... Yeah. So, so they're basically doing her wrong. Yep. She has the typical uh, old lady, like, scarf on her head, mm -hmm. but then they dress her like some weird old... Yeah, it's like... Hold on. They, they got her wrong. Yeah, I want to see... Wait. Now her hair thinks... Oh, wait, there's something else. The hair's not past her waist. Oh, you're right, and it's not white. Yeah. More, like, light gray. Let's look at the other details. I knew that they got the... But let's look at the other details that were here. Short, we plump skin. Her fucking face. Her... S uh, a short, plump build. Her skin, although deeply tan and heavily lined, is devoid of blemishes or liver spots. That means... Yep, I don't see any liver spots, just a lot of wrinkles. But her skin doesn't look that tan. Also... Doesn't look very short and plump there, does she? Nope. Her bright, clear blue and devoid of cataracts or fogginess. Also, she prefers to keep it in a bun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and also, uh, those are more green mixed with brown than blue. Those are just green eyes. Ah. They're just green. Yeah, bright, clear blue. <laughs> That's not blue. That's as much as the description I think we got at the moment. So, we got the eyes wrong, the Skin wrong, the clothes wrong, but you know what? I like her headscarf. I think probably accurate. I could bring it. They probably just said draw an old woman. <laughs> and and she puts her hair up in a bun. Yeah. Anyways, let's continue. In her other hand, she produced a velvet cupcake. The aroma what? was too. They're gonna do a hands on Gretel. Any worries he had soon disappeared. He pushed oh, Greta no, in the right. bag one and nodded his head towards the little house days. in the forest. She could see the look on his face. He was nothing if not stubborn and untrusting. However, the mere hint of something sweet was his Achilles heel. The old lady strode off towards the back of the house, seemingly towards the kitchen. For such a hobbled over old woman, she moved with surprising agility and speed. Hans and Greta surveyed the house cautiously. Nothing too often. They I think they're mispronouncing Gretel. They're saying Greta. You know what? It's fine if it's not Hansel. Oh, hi, Bookworm. Yeah, they're, they're, this is just Hansel and Gretel. So, Bookworm, just so you know. Hans and Greta. Yeah, they, they, they just... Oh my god, this is- they just changed the name slightly. It's Hansel and Gretel. Also, we are 
on SCP-545. They made the character lighter skinned. They changed her clothes. They have changed her eye color. They've changed her hair color. They've changed her hairstyling. They have yeah, honestly but also changed her house because mm -hmm. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. She didn't have a bunch of ritual stuff, despite how magical she found it. Let's see. Uh, what's it from original neighborhood? Uh, I don't think you talked about. Uh, which led to an area near river that was prone to sinkholes and small history. Yeah, there's supposed to be a bunch of sinkholes where she lives. And that looks like a dark forest, and it's supposed to be a nice little town. Yeah. <laughs> she likes going to little towns with lots of people, but not too many people. Yeah. Probably makes it easier. Oh my god. From a first glance, the usual old person things you'd expect to see. What? Wait, <laughs> hold on. Oh, bookworm said whitewashing. Yeah. Hold on. I, I need to go back a minute. Usual old person thing. That's not an unusual old woman thing in a house. Just a big slap of meat hanging in the air. Not... Honestly, I would expect many old ladies to have that. That's how they used to hear me. Well, I mean, yeah, but not in like in a living That's room. Different. Yeah, more in the kitchen, not in a fucking living room. <laughs> well, I I'm saying it looks like it's the type of old house the kitchen uh. is in the Ah, uh, okay. You see the fireplace? That used to be where, like, food. Ah. Uh, but he's supposed to be in a more modern house. Yeah. Things you'd expect to see. A stuffed black cat by the fireplace. An old-fashioned broom hanging above the entrance. a black cat. I think. <laughs> I don't think that was mentioned at all. Let me a look picture back. of some hippie gathering in the forest. I don't think so. Yeah, the only thing she asked for was typical old lady stuff, which is not a stuffed black cat. There's no stuffed black cat. Yeah. First, Greta pointed the last one and tugged Hans's shirt. They both giggled to themselves. <laughs> the old lady promptly came back to the living room. In her hands was a baking tray filled with the most delicious pastries, well, there's one buns, thing and sweets. I hear about her technically bake very good, like a typical old granny. Mm -hmm. Although I think her baking would look better than that bullshit. <laughs> I mean, I'm not Either trying to say it doesn't look like granny quality, but it doesn't look like quality. My God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. ...had ever seen. The aroma of fresh bread and sticky, sweet, sugary goodness wafted through the air. Somewhere, deep inside that heavenly scent, Greta thought she smelled something else. Something wrong. Also, just one thing, why does Greta look like a dude? <laughs> you know what? Greta can be as butch of a lesbian as she wants to be, or a butch, like, yeah. straight girl. She can, she can be as butch as she wants to. She yeah, might I'm... marry a man, she might marry a woman. Yeah, it, I mean, that's... Before becoming a teenager. I mean, that's fine. I'm just saying, when they usually draw someone like this, without the bl uh, blush that they use as a guy, <laughs> or the lipstick here, they, they barely added changes to make them look like a thing. I know. Just remember. We don't even know what she's going to grow up as. Yeah, that's Probably fair. Probably gonna be dead. Yeah. We'll find out. I, I guess he's not Something. gonna marry anyone. She's Die. Yeah. Putrid. She sniffed the air, but it was gone. Also, there Perhaps wouldn't be anything off about the granny's cooking smell. Yeah. I I think they're just sticking to story Hansel and Gretel. In place well, in Hunting Anomaly. Hansel and Gretel, there wasn't anything. Yeah. No. I think they're just adding it, hoping that there's <laughs> drugs in it or something. <laughs> no, it never says she drugs children. Yeah, and plus, usually when you, I'm not saying people, sh you should, but when you usually drug someone, they're us it's usually odorless. You know, undetectable. Yeah. And it sounds like she knows how to make things. <laughs> but also, 
What's easier on how to get kids to trust you? Feed them, have them leave and come back? Or feed them <laughs> once and never let them return home? Which one do you think is more suspicious? I think she's smarter than this. Yeah. It was some rotting food, or just her imagination. <laughs> Hans pulled out the glass bottles the old lady had asked for. As he offered well, the they food, got that correct. she looked at him with a slightly confused look upon her face. Oh, of course. The glass bottles I asked for. Thank you, dearie. Just set them on the table and have a bite of this. She pushed a particularly delectable looking pastry towards him. Hans no, that's to be not asked the best looking one. Fuck you. That's the worst looking one. <laughs> Why don't you give her a better one? <laughs> Look at what Jerry and cooking, apparently. That does not look like Granny's cooking. I'm sorry, Granny can cook better than that. If she's eight fucking years old, she's gonna do better shit than that. Look at that bull. <laughs> okay, let's get going. I'm not sure why I'm so angry on behalf of the <laughs> wonderful cooking. You're getting as mad as you are with 049 video. <laughs> Maybe it's because I really love food and <laughs> if she's a really good granny cook. Yeah, so anyways. She uses it as a literal tool to fool people. Yeah. And then do this. Her one of her greatest weapons looks like bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, anyways. Greedily and scarfed it down, practically eating the old lady's fingers with it. But Greta wasn't so easily fooled. Forgotten the glass bottles? That was the whole reason they had made their way through the forest to her little house. How could she have forgotten? The old lady came towards her, offering her sweets and buns. Now try this one. I made it especially for you. Greta hesitated. Especially for me? They have found- Wait, now they go in the past, earlier that day. <laughs> I hate it when these content farms do this. They they don't structure story perfectly. It's like here, there, here, there, here, there. I, I hate it. I don't like it either. Also, why did they move her in the middle of a her ancient house? I don't know. Because she's over eight hundred years old. Seeing her house needs to be over eight hundred years old. Yeah. Wait, now that I think about it, if she had a bank account near when she first started this, she would have a lot of money in saving <laughs> with the interest. Right, she probably does have a lot of Yeah. She's a smart old woman who's killed quite a few people by being the innocent old lady. Yeah. I'm sure she has more than enough money. Although, I also don't believe she would have made a bank account, considering how old she is. Think about it, how suspicious it'd be. They'd be like, oh yes, I'm over. Yeah. Anyways, let's continue. <laughs> Found the old lady hours ago, stumbling through the forest, seemingly lost and confused. She had seemed so helpless and tired. What would her parents have said if they had just left her there? So they had helped her back to her home and were just about to leave when she had invited them in. Hans wasn't having any of it though. He had lost an hour of daylight helping the old lady and wasn't about to get stuck inside a musty old house, drinking tea and hearing about old people stuff. As they made their polite excuses and turned to walk away, she wait, called back. Wait, 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 wait. Earlier, it made it sound like in the video that they had found the house by accident. Yeah. They completely. I know that they. We've already taught them changing different parts of the stories and making it inconsistent. But I feel like this is the biggest instance of them not even going with their own plot. Yeah, that's the thing with content farms. They're mainly meant for children. This SCP deserves better. She deserves at least better sweets to represent old granny power.
Oh my gosh. Apparently. In like the, when it says usual old person things you expect to see. Apparently we didn't notice that there was a candle with a pentagram. <laughs> no, no, I noticed. Oh, I didn't notice it. Let's okay, so keep Do going. You, perchance, have any glass bottles at home? An odd question, perhaps. But the hand thought also, much of it. Also, how did they make that lady, old lady seem to be inconsistent? In yeah. some clips, she looks short, and some she looks tall. Yeah. If you bring them to me, I'll pay you ten times what they were to recycle. That greedy guts Hans had agreed instantly and taken off at a run. By the time they had returned, the sun was starting at slow decline, and the children were getting hungry. Why is the sky blood red? Because it, it wants it. I don't know. The old lady's delectable treats were hard to Apparently pass Apparently you enter an entirely different universe when you go to her house or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> Now try this one. Well, that's not at all, but you know what? Magic. And now we're back here. <laughs> I made it especially for you. Greta stood up. So quickly the old lady jumped back. I'm sorry, ma'am, but could I use your bathroom? Oh, I guess. Of course. And call me Miss Totenkinder, won't you? Down the hall. That name that's doesn't get given. Name. That's the name the, the SCP found. One of the SCP foundation staffs eventually give her. Yes. It doesn't happen yet. Yeah, she doesn't have it yet. She's probably switched names dozens of times. Yeah. On the left, don't go into the kitchen. I have a meal cooking, and I don't think its smell will agree with you. Greta politely nodded. Miss Totenkinder? What an odd-sounding name. As she approached the bathroom, she smelt the same pungent odor from before. She had smelt it before. It was like chicken, but not. She glanced back and saw Hans, greedily being force-fed buns and muffins and rolls. A quick peek. She had never noticed. I don't think force-fed. You don't need to be force-fed amazing food. Yeah. But he's stuffing in his face. It's like he's being forced. Uh, there it is again. Candle of the Pentagram. The hell is that pink thing surrounded by plants? It doesn't look like plants. Okay, close. Yeah, I mean, this thing right here? Yeah. It kind of looks like, from this angle, kind of looks like a blood red pink chromosome thing. Well, I shrug left to going. In the kitchen, she saw an enormous black pot on the stove. Beneath it, the fire burnt and the cauldron bubbled. On a cutting board was ginger, seeds, and some sort of root. Next to it, what looked like a snakeskin and leeches. As she approached the pot, the pungent smell came to her again. The pot's not big enough. Wait, isn't that the, the bee supposed to be completely odorless? Uh, does it say it's supposed to be odorless? Tamadina is it copy from Norwich? Let's see. Does it like uh, blah, blah. Yeah, colorless and odorless liquid. Yeah, that's what I thought. So it's not supposed to be green and it's not supposed <laughs> Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> We're having so much fun. <laughs> Wee. Anyways. She peered over the pot. Chicken, not chicken new, but whole chicken fetuses bubbled to the top of the water. Oh dear, oh dear. This wasn't meant for you, child. The yeah, again with the pot, it's supposed to be big enough for a human. Like human child. Yeah, let's be honest, it's probably big enough for multiple human children. <laughs> The old lady blew something around her head, and everything went suddenly black. What? Greta woke up. Her eyes were still heavy, and her senses very foggy. She looked up and attempted to focus her eyes. She was in some sort of pantry, 
There were shelves with canned food and bags of flour and other items. That old witch, she had knocked her out with some sort of dust or chemical and locked her up in here. She tried to get to her feet, but found her ankles and That's hands were bound and torn. Yeah, that, like I said, they're making this Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> but even in Hansel and Gretel, he didn't have magic fairy powder to put kids to sleep. Yeah. What about Hans? Where was he? Was he okay? Something dripped on her forehead towards How her eyes. How did they have so much extra aggression? I don't know. What was that? Was the roof leaking? Had one of the cans been punctured above her? As she turned her gaze upwards, she saw Hans hanging oh. by his neck above her. She turned away from him and That's scooted across the floor. No, it does not. From his dead body, she tried to scream, but the gag in her mouth wouldn't let her. As she caught her breath, she looked up once again. What had happened to him? He looked emaciated and exsanguinated. What had that raw old witch done to him? She closed her eyes and What's cried. She would be next. Thing is, I think you can still be alive while, while, while being a dash C. Well, not, well, not dash C, well, dash B. I mean, by taking the liquid. Because I don't think it kills you. Well, outright, I think, well, I mean, eventually the children do die from getting taken too much of the liquid, but I don't think it'll kill yeah, you immediately. You don't, you don't become emaciated, you don't get hung on the rafters, you don't immediately die. Plus, the way they hung them, instead of, like, with a hook or something like normal meat, they hung up like a noose. They wanted, they added more violence that way. She cried for an eternity, and when she couldn't cry anymore, she slept. She didn't know how she could, with her brother's body mere feet from her, but the pain and loss had exhausted her. Without hope, sleep comes easy, she thought to herself. No, she wouldn't get away with this. Think, Greta, think. Surely there's a way out of here. You deserve it to your brother to bury his body. Think. As she contemplated her situation, she slowly started to piece together what had and was still happening. It had been six months ago when the last child had disappeared. At first, it had been put down to either the sinkholes, which were occurring more commonly- That is- Okay! They re added the sinkhole after making it a dead of a town. Yeah, but would the sinkholes be that big? No. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't think so. <laughs> That's big enough for a house. That <laughs> right. always happens in Florida. <laughs> yeah, because the reason I say it, because um, at my elementary school, when I think I was in third grade, a sinkhole did happen, except um, it was barely big at all. Like, it was barely bigger than a baseball bat. Like... You can stick the baseball back down in it. Right? Yeah. The common cause of a sinkhole yeah. is the groundwater vanishing from underground. Right. Causing the hole to sink. So that's why most of them are relatively small. Yeah. And this would be like if an entire lake had vanished out of nowhere. Right. Also, let me see. Where was it? Uh, did it say where? No, it just said Miss Midwestern Town. It didn't exactly say... Probably the United States. Oh, wait, she's pursuing European descent, so probably in Europe somewhere. Well, European could be in Europe or America. Yeah, hold on. Double check and see if we can find out where. Can see... Do -do 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 -do. No, it does not say anywhere. I can't find anywhere where it says. Oh, okay, so for all we know, she's Australia. Okay. Yeah. Clean the area or becoming lost and disoriented in the forest. It had happened before, 
but not with the frequency of late. Rumors had spread of a cult or black magic being conducted in the forest at night. Not mentioned. Satan worshippers or cultists conducting their dark arts. He's not an occultist. The police had of course ignored yeah. it and laughed. It was pure conjecture. There were no sane worshippers, witches, or ghosts and goblins in the forest. Just unfortunate accidents. But it had continued. A few more disappeared, and then a few more after that. The townspeople had insisted they look deeper into what was happening. There were a group of cultists in the town, stealing children and sacrificing them. With the pressure increasing, the police opened the file and investigated the disappearances deep in the forest. What came to light had shocked the town. No, it wasn't cultists or sane worshippers. In fact, it seemed like the small midwestern town had a serial killer. It wasn't long after that they made an arrest. Bill Jameson, the son of the local mechanic, was found with pictures of some of the missing children in his bedroom. That was enough for the police. They had their scapegoat. But the townsfolk continued. Impossible, they had said. This was the work of a group of people. Satan worshippers. One skinny, stupid boy couldn't have done this. But the police had had enough. Case closed. And as if their wish was a command, the disappearances had stopped. It had never been Billy Jameson. It had been this Miss Totenkinder, or whatever her name was. She had come to the town shortly before the first disappearance. She pretended to be old, senile and weak. But Greta had first hand. She is old. She, she moved and reacted like a person half her age. Billy Jameson might not have had the cunning and strength to commit these murders, but Miss Totenkinder certainly did. She didn't need a coven or a cult. She could do it all herself. She had to find a way out. She scoured the small room, looking for any tool of escape and opening to squeeze through. Nothing. There had been a reason why she had locked her up in the pantry. The door opened. The old lady looked upon the boy's dead body with a smile. Ah, he would make a fine elixir indeed. Once her potion was mixed up and his blood and fluids added, she would have enough to last another five years without needing to hunt again. This small town was quite nice, and she could see herself staying for a while, at least until the current generation of children were long dead and buried, and their children's children were grown. Only then might she move on. After all, when you're 800 years old, life takes on a more leisurely pace. She looked down to where the little girl had been. Gone. Where was she? Impossible. There was no way out. Her eyes searched the small room. Nothing. She stepped into the room and pushed the door closed. What was this? The lock. Scratch marks all over it. Had she? Had she picked the lock? No. She had to catch her before she alerted the police. She flung the door open and ran out of the kitchen. In the distance, Greta heard the front door slam shut. She slowly let her legs down and pushed aside her brother's lifeless corpse. You saved me one more time, Hans. I'll be back soon. She gently massaged her ankles and wrists, oh my which God. were covered in blood. Her brother's... Okay. Being tied up wouldn't instantly give you bruises that bad. Also, I want to point out that they even changed her personality. Remember, yeah. she's basically a drug addict. She wasn't thinking about how she just wanted. It doesn't really affect her anymore at this point. Yeah. There's blood. Just enough to slide the ropes off. She listened for a moment. Nothing. She took off at a run, back to the town, to the police, to her parents. The police had arrested her that night, in the forest. Please did nothing. No one in the town knew. The foundation, like, probably used amnestics or something to prevent them from remembering her. That's what the foundation does. <laughs> My God. Honestly, with how, uh, how no one knew what she was, it would have been easy to just go to the town people and just say, hey, we're taking her away because yeah. Better care. She's getting up there in years. This confused old lady, partial dementia needs heavier care. They'd be like, yeah, I understand that. Yeah. So they wouldn't even need a mess fix. Well, I sure gonna admit that the foundation used a bunch of amnestics on them. Oh my gosh, foundation! Isn't this a collection of scary fairy tales? <laughs>
She had been sitting by a large bonfire, smiling at them sweetly. She hadn't resisted and in fact had been extremely agreeable. A few of the men had questioned whether such an old, sweet lady like this could possibly have killed the kids. Even if she had planned to, did she really have the strength? Greta had cried and screamed. It was her, Miss Totenkind. But the old lady had politely said, Oh my dear, I think you have me mixed up with someone else. My name is Beatrice, Beatrice Widow, as they took her away. As they left the fire, Greta looked They combined the two of her names. Widow is a different name, and Beatrice is the other. ...to put this whole thing behind her. Curious, it was a very large fire for one old lady. And the floor, it looked like there had been more people here at some point. She shrugged. Sane worshippers, right? Cultists? A single person couldn't do this, huh? How wrong they had all been. What? It's not how a potion works. SCP-545-A appears to be an elderly woman. Presumably they don't have her locked European up. Descent. 1.5 meters in height and 73.9 kilos in weight, giving her a short, plump build. Her skin, although deeply tanned and heavily lined, is devoid of blemishes or- Considering white, deeply tanned? <laughs> spots otherwise- Wait, they did put blemishes and liver spots on her. Jerry, are you okay? Because you're, you're muted. Oh, my mom just called. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Never mind. Okay, okay, I hung up on my mom. She started talking about dying. Oh, wow. That is where I draw the line. That's fair. Are you okay? Also, the Alfred is on the phone and simultaneously with her people. Yeah. You, you okay? are right, dude, and yeah, I'm fine. She's done that ever since I was a small kid talking about dying. Yeah. Hey. Anyways, just look at this. Deeply tanned. Oh, yeah, that's definitely deeply tanned. Blemishes and liver spots. That's there. That's not deeply tanned. <laughs> and they did add blemishes and liver spots because that's you can see those. <laughs> so when we thought she didn't have it, she did. <laughs> like in in the animation. Oh my god. They changed how she looked on purpose. Yep. Common with age. Despite appearing to be 80 plus years. And now they removed it. See, now it's gone. <laughs> Dash A is in exceptional health with no weakening of the heart, bones, or respiratory system. And although of average human strength, her senses are noted to be above average, and she scores a general 115 on a standard IQ test. SCP 545 A claims well, we to be over 800 IQ. years old. Wait, we do, I think. We do? Yeah, I think they did say it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, general 1. 115 on a standard IQ test. Yeah. So let's see, how did it... Well, IQ tests are flawed anyway. Yeah. For the general 115 on a standard IQ test, SCP-545-A claims to be over 800 years old. This claim has yet to be disproved. Dis so now what I'm noticing is that they put all the actual facts of the SCP at the very end and put a whole bunch of bullshit at the beginning. <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter what they put at the at the the end when the beginning is the beginning. Yeah, because what also, I'm so literally at the end, from what I they literally had her age physically alter from drinking dash D. Yeah. Also, from what I'm seeing. The, from right now, because you can see like the most viewed parts of video, if you go over the red red thing right here, it's only towards the bullshit. After that, it's it's barely viewed, so people click off.
Despite SCP-545-A's penchant for acting like a kindly old woman, she displays no remorse for her use of SCP-545-B or C. SCP-545-B is a colorless, odorless it liquid doesn't extracted flow. from the <laughs> Body by oh, a 545. It's colorless and odorless. It's fine to draw it like water. I don't know why you're making it look like magic. Okay. Yeah, you can just make it look like a glass of water. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and in fact, isn't it supposed to be in like a bottle? Yeah, it's supposed to be in a bottle. bottle. I think what they're using is a bottle you would see in like. RPG games that witches use? But witches don't even use bottles like that in RPG games. I, I've seen it in like some some that don't like do it which is right and stuff like that. I've seen it like cheaply made games I should say. I'm not sure what cheaply game cheaply made games you're talking about. I, I've seen it. Let me show you. Okay. I'm only guessing that's what they're trying to do. Well, I think your guess is wrong because like I in old and modern art, the bottles always have a bottom. Because they know bottles in its basic shape needs to be something that can sit on a counter. Wait, look at the thumbnail, Jerry. I'll put it in the thumbnail. As you can see here, Bookworm. They have a bottom. There is a bottom and the thumbnail. But if you take away the thumbnail, there's no bottom. So they redrew the bottle. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Jerry. I cannot find Diablo 1's potions, but I can <laughs> find Diablo 2 and 3's potions. Ah, okay. I... Oh, there we go. Ah, those, yeah. There we go. Diablo. God damn it. Just give me the potions from Diablo. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. It's almost over. Consumable. Yeah. And bottled. It is often dubbed liquid life due to its properties. Drinking SCP-545-B extends the life of the user, slowing the process of aging and often either slowing or completely ridding the body of disease. It may even be used to heal major wounds if drunk quickly enough. Repeated use of SCP-545-B may prolong life indefinitely, but results in a strong dependency upon its properties, and many frequent users show borderline sociopathic tendencies in regard- They don't de-age you! Don't de-age you. You stay the age. Oh my god. Regard to the creation of SCP-545-B. SCP-545-C is a thin, weathered sheet of yellow parchment in surprisingly good condition. Carbon dating places it to be at least 600 years old. SCP-545-A claims to have copied SCP-545-C from the original document containing SCP-545-C's instructions. For lack of a better term, SCP-545-C contains a recipe in Middle English for extracting and distilling SCP-545-B from the human body. The next time you're walking in the woods and see an old lady in distress, be sure to keep your wits about you. It may not- And that's it. Oh my god. I hope Jerry's doing okay.
do, Bookworm. <laughs> How are you doing? Enjoying this show. <laughs> yeah. You know what, Bookworm? Entertain the stream while I go take a piss. Sorry, my mom called back. That's what that sounds like. And you're probably off to take a piss. You already got her card. Yeah. I'm sorry, it seems like Nasty's harassing me. I just kinda want to read her after That's better. You okay? I feel tired and weary and so so far. Come to the blessing area and probably cook it. Okay. Oh. I'm back. I'm taking a piss. Oh, so I forgot, but I am still in. <laughs> oh, okay. You okay? Yeah. I, I probably just feel out of it from talking with my mom on the phone. As you can tell, when she wants to call, he will continuously call, even when you don't feel like talking, until you find a way to get her to stop. Yeah. He's, he's friendly, but also desperate. Basically, since she was 18, her entire life was... And he died. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, Jerry. Uh, so... I'm not the one has been married for like over 30 years and died in 2019. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, I'm going to say the three for removal of characters because they completely removed the doctor. Yeah, they basically removed any and all staff. Yeah. Added gore violence for. 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 <laughs> Do you guys from... yeah. Yeah. Only men in the video? Well... They removed characters, but... You they were all men. All men but because... Men. Because there's only... The, the SEP itself is female, but let's look at the doctor. Are I don't... They... I don't think we know what the... Yeah, because the doctor's name is redacted, as well as the O5 member. So we don't know if they're male or female. Okay. So I just don't know if they did or didn't. Or should we just act like they? I'd probably just say zero because we already have removal of characters. Um, uh, but it feels like there's a chance. Might as well add two just in case. All right. All right. That is. So. We Let's... didn't let them get away with it completely just because we don't know for sure if they did or didn't. Twenty five percent. It did a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> 